Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 18th Django tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at how we can make an accounts app to control our signing flow. Alright then, so now we have listed all of our different articles. We can click on an article so that we can see them in detail. I think now is the time that we can open up this blog so that other users, not just me, the administrator, can also add blogs. Now, if I wanted to add other users, then I suppose what I could do is go into the Django administration and click on add new user and I could add a new user and then they could then do some stuff. However, this is not really a good user experience. I mean, if I go to Facebook and want an account, I don't email the administrator and say, look, can you sign me up for an account on the uh, Facebook admin side and then send me the details? No, <laughs> that's not what happens. Um, ideally, what we want to do is allow a user to sign up from the front end. So create some kind of form and then allow that user to fill in the form to sign up for an account. And then when they have an account, they can also add blogs or articles from the front end too. We don't want our everyday users logging into the admin section because this is for admin users only. So I guess what we need to do then is create a new app within our project, which is gonna allow this kind of functionality. We can create templates within that app to log a user in or sign up a user. Now, fortunately, Django comes with a lot of user authentication stuff already baked into it. So if we go to settings inside Django Nautic and scroll down inside installed apps, we can see this one right here, django.contrib.auth. So a lot of this functionality is already installed into Django, and that's why we can add new users over here in the admin section. We just want to kind of take that functionality and add it into the front end so that we can add new users from the front end. But a lot of it, like I said, is already done for us. So this is going to be simpler than you might think. So the first thing I'd like to do then is create a new app to handle our user authentication or our user accounts. So to do that, we need to open up the console and I'm going to just cancel out of the process over here and clear this so we have a little bit of room. And then to create a new accounts app, we need to say python manage.py, then start, oops, start app and call this accounts. Click enter and that's going to create a new accounts app for us. And we can see that appear now over on the left. Cool. So inside here, we have these different files already. And the first thing we need to do is register this accounts app inside the settings. So I've just closed that down when I should have just kept it open. And inside here, we want to add in accounts. So then Django knows, look, we have this new accounts app in our project as well. So let's save that. And uh, the next thing we need to do then is start to create the URLs for this accounts app. At what URL do we want the user to go to, for example, if they want to sign up or log in? So let's create, first of all, that URLs file inside the accounts app. So new file, urls.py. And inside here, the first thing we need to do is say from django.conf.urls import URL. We do this at the top of every URLs file. If we go into articles, you can see exactly the same thing. In fact, why not just copy this and paste it up here. So we import the views, which we have over here. We've not done anything inside there yet. And we also import a URL right here because we need this to create URLs inside this file. The next thing I want to do is give this an app name. Remember, this is the way we kind of namespace our URLs. And I'm going to call this accounts. And then underneath, we can start creating our URL patterns. So URL patterns are equal to, and then inside this, we want to say we want a new URL. Shift that along. And inside this URL, we need to say, first of all, the path of the URL. So this is going to be the sign up URL, first of all. And remember, it's a raw string. And the first thing we want to do is a little carrot to say that it begins with this. So like that. Then we want the URL to be sign up forward slash and then a dollar sign to say this is the end. Okay. So that's the first parameter right there. The second one is going to be the view that we send a user to if they go to this URL. Now we've not created the views yet, but let's just pop this in views, which we imported up here dot sign up underscore view. And we'll create this view in a second. 
Lastly, we'll give this a name which is going to be equal to sign up. So if on the front end in the templates, we want to send a user to this template or this URL, instead of hard coding the URL, what we can do is use this URL name later on. Okay, so that's our URLs for this app sorted so far. Remember, the next thing we need to do for these to work is use them or include them in our root URLs over here. So much like we did with articles, we can do the same thing for our accounts URLs. So the way we're going to do that is by saying URL, then inside raw string, then it's going to be carrot accounts forward slash. And remember, we don't put the uh, the little dollar sign here because this is not the end of the URL. Something comes after it. These things over here come after it. Okay. So that's the first parameter. The second parameter is going to be include. And which URLs do we want to include? Well, it's going to be the account URLs. So we say accounts dot URLs. All right. So now these URLs are registered inside this URL file so that when we go to forward slash accounts, whatever we put after it, for example, sign up will be handled inside this file. OK, so the next thing we need to do is make this view so that when someone goes to forward slash accounts forward slash sign up, then we use this view to dictate what happens. So let's open up the views file and create that view now. So the first thing we want to do is define a function and this function is called sign up view and it takes the request object right here and inside this function right now what we want to do is just render some kind of template a sign up template so we'll say return and then render remember render is already imported here for us which is cool and inside here we have the request object first of all then it's the template that we want to render we've not made this yet but it will be in the accounts folder forward slash sign up dot html so we're sending back this template right here so let's save that and create that template inside here we'll say new folder templates and then inside that we need a new folder again which is going to be accounts and that's this part right here so it's in the accounts folder inside templates then we need a new file called signup.html all right so this is the template then for this sign up page so again this is going to extend the base layout so to do that we need to say curly braces percentage sign to open up our template tags then we say extends and in single quotes the base underscore layout dot html okay so we're extending that template and again we need to define our block of content which we want to put in that template so again uh, template tags and then block and the block name is content remember you can find that by going to your base layout template right here this is the block name content so let's cross this off and go back to sign up let's end the block and then finally we need to just put something inside this block so it gets injected into that template for now i'm just going to do a simple h1 so we'll call this sign up Whew. okay then so what's happening here well first of all we've created our accounts app then inside that we've created some urls for the sign up page right here so we've used this url or this url file inside this url file right here so we say okay when someone goes to forward slash accounts then i want you to use these account urls right here so to get to this one over here we have to go to forward slash accounts forward slash sign up when that happens i want you to look in the views file and use this function right here sign up view so inside views we have this function right here what this does is render a template which is in the accounts folder and it's called signup.html which is right here so we've got there in the end let's now try this in a browser the first thing we need to do is run the server so we'll say python manage.py run server and then skew over to the browser and we'll just go back to the articles page over here and if we now go to accounts forward slash sign up 
then we should get the sign up page. Yep, we get the sign up page right there. At the minute, just a H1, but this will be the place where we do our form for users to sign up, and that is going to be coming in the very next tutorial.